Mr. X is featured in the second scenario of Resident Evil 2 where you play as Claire Redfield and he is terrifying Hey everybody, welcome back. What the freak? <laughs> you were not prepared. Not at all. No. Give me one second. Twenty-six minutes. I'm in the middle of the of a bath, And I'm in the middle of eating this candy bar I've never tried before. I see. It's not a well, candy not bar. candy bar, but you know, snack candy. I want to make mm. candy bars exist. Oh my god, this is so fucking good! Holy shit! Yeah. You're welcome. It's like a chocolate cake. Mm -hmm. It's like a chocolate cake, but it's not. Yeah. Okay. Alright, here we go. That was just where you get trapped in the room. Yeah. Something like that. I'm ready for my favorite character. Chainsaw. I knew it. They're lumberjacks. <laughs> Who's your favorite character? He shows up later. So. Yeah. But we'll spoil it for the people who haven't seen the game mm. before. Mm. I mean, if they haven't seen the game before, why are they here, first off? No reason. We just have nothing because to do. we're not really caring about the story, we're caring about making people laugh. I care about the story. Okay, cool. I don't care. Wow. I do care about the story, but still. Shotgun! Shoot gun. I like shotguns. I like them a lot. Uh, shooty beauty. Especially when I'm facing Chainsaw Man. Yeah, that's that's pretty good. Hey <sighs> ah! <Yeah. So>. <laughs> <laughs> You're dead. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Hello. <laughs> you just the episode started two minutes ago. And you're already <laughs> fucking dead. <laughs> Ooh. That was not expected. <laughs> yeah, that scared you. <laughs> uh, it caught me by surprise. <laughs> I didn't even hear it. So, you remember where I work at, right? Oh no. Yes. Uh, I work at a grocery store called Givens Foods, mm -hmm. and. Well, um, hey, a guy. Wow, you have to go way far back, don't you? No, I'm good. I'm right here. Oh, you just go in that building and then the cutscene starts. Yeah. I mean, that's kind of like how the story is supposed to play out. Yeah. As you can oh, see, there's cutscene. But, so I work at a grocery store. I worked at, and a lot of weird things happen. I take out groceries for people, and I get tipped for it. So it's like the old mm. days back in, like, 1950s. Okay. Um, what? <laughs> yeah, like, 1950s. That's what like, are you talking about? The, that, the grocery stores that people carried out your groceries for you and all that. Full service, like, actual full service. Because no one else really does that anymore. Full service. Like, I, we have people come from, like, Florida or up north, like, in Montana and stuff like that. And they're just like, we've never, <laughs> haven't never seen this before, ever. Or like it's old people who are just like we thank you, young man. Thank you, young man. Here, have my hard-earned old people money that I use for retirement. Wow, that's basically what happens. <laughs> turn around, turn around, turn around. <laughs> the I just knocked down the chainsaw guy. He's down there. Oh, okay. Um, um but uh, some weird things happen. And I'm going to take this episode to talk about my job. Starting off, let's go back to my notes a little bit. Let's see where to go. Okay, so I take, I'm take i taking out groceries for these people, and then they give me some money as a tip, because I'm rich, bitch. Um, <laughs> I'm poor as hell. Uh, anyway, so they give me some money, and oh I'm, walk, I'm walking back to the store. Oh. And I just see this lady who just parks in front of me. This old 60, 70 year old lady, right? Wow, bro. But I didn't know that until she got out of the car. You assuming ages? No, listen, 
I didn't know this until she got out of the car because she was blaring death metal. <laughs> this old, it's pretty rad, bro. Sixty-year-old lady with a cane. All right, blaring death metal. Yeah. Why not? It's awesome. Mm -hmm. So, that's one thing that happened. Mm -hmm. Um, then yesterday, or not yesterday, uh, the day before yesterday, this like middle-aged woman hit on me in the weirdest way possible. That's cool. Well, not the weirdest, but you know. How's that? I'm taking out her groceries for her, and I always, when I say, what I say to someone is always, how's your day going so far? You know, just to, to just start up a conversation, see how the day's going, you know, just. Yeah. Yeah. Normal stuff. Yeah. And, uh, she go, I say, how's your day going so far? She goes, pretty good now that I've seen your cute butt. <laughs> It's just like okay. Did she mean that as in your butt, literally, or just you as a person? Me and as a person a with butt. a butt. Oh yeah. Okay. Um, but uh, then like I'm like, all right, I just ignore that. And then I'll just keep a conversation going just to, like, you know, maybe to get her to say, hey, I'm not. So, let's just talk a little bit. Freak, then she's getting up. We talk a little bit. Then she goes, uh, thank you for taking out my groceries. I don't have a tip to give you, but I'm cute, though, right? <laughs> <laughs> Who was this? I, just some lady who comes into the store. But she goes, I'm cute though, hey. right? And then I just keep quiet. I don't say anything. Because I'm yeah, just... I, what am I supposed to... Look, she's not cute. She's not cute. I'm sorry if you're listening to this. But you're not cute. Are you sure? Yes. You know, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. I don't hold bees. Um, anyway. What the freak, man? You kidding me with that? Um, but anyway, that, th then she, assume, then I'm walking away. She goes, you know, maybe I got a tip. Come back here. I'm like, all right, fine, money. And then she goes, sorry, I thought I did. I'm cute though, right? Again. And then she tries to keep a conversation going. She goes, we'll see you later. But before you go, I'm cute though, right? <laughs> just... And then I walked away, and I was just, I was done. I was so done. I can I, I just why? <laughs> mm. She's like almost like thirty or forty or in her thirties, and I'm nineteen. Yeah. I understand being attracted to younger people, Ooh. but you gotta remember those younger people have to be attracted to you too. Yeah. You like cougars? That's a pretty mountain cool lions. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just imagine calling a lady wild animals. Um, so here's like the third and final story. Oh yeah, I remember the thing I used to do. You gotta shoot him in the knees. <laughs> you trip. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, don't trip. You can shoot you him say. anywhere in the legs, and it's just a chance. <laughs> but um, so the third and final story. Oh, Those your two twins here. Twins. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh, you're dying. Yeah, I'm not in good shape. But, um... Oh, yeah. So the third and final story I have to tell uh, was about a week ago. This group of kids walked in the store. Yeah. Now, they stole some things. Ooh. What would you imagine they stole out of a grocery store? Um... Coins. What? Okay, be legitimate. Like, actually, what would you think they'd steal? Be honest. Hot wheel. No, okay, not like kids, like preteens and stuff oh, like that. Man. Um. Like, you think, like, maybe, like, they're just wanted to drink some alcohol, something like that, right? The no. dish soap, because they want to make a bomb. What kind of child <laughs> did you grow up around? Dude, there were some crazy kids, man. Anyway, they stole $100 worth of seafood. Whoa. 
they shoved, they took two things out of the boxes, mm. and shoved it down their pants, kept the boxes mm. down, and then a bunch of other stuff they kept in the package and put it down their pants. The boxes were just too big. Mm. Too big. And so a hundred dollars worth of seafood. Why? Mm -hmm. Why in God's name would you just decide I'm gonna go to the grocery store with all my friends and steal some seafood, shove it down your pants, guys? Let's have our fucking dicks and vaginas smell like fish. Whoa. Like Hold on. There were females. Yeah. During this process. <laughs> during this process. <laughs> Oh, that was a close one. Ah, break. Well, this will be fun. You wanna see something cool? Uh, next time. Or. <laughs> see you guys next time.